Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, H.R. 21 unnecessarily opens large swaths of public lands and waters to uh, oil and gas drilling, including the coast of Florida. This would really jeopardize Florida's fragile offshore waters, our beautiful beaches. You know, the, the clean water, clean air, clean beaches are central to our way of life, the cornerstone of our economy. And for many years, uh, the state of Florida has enjoyed a moratorium on drilling because leaders at the national level recognized that Florida beaches and our offshore waters were a national resource. That moratorium expired last year, unfortunately. So now, with H.R. 21, uh, Florida is at risk again. My amendment would reinstitute that moratorium. In fact, it would ban permanently uh, drilling off of the coast of Florida. Uh, this has enjoyed bipartisan support here in the Congress and back home. How do Floridians feel about drilling off of our beaches? Well, we passed a constitutional amendment in 2018 that passed by 70, almost 70% 70 of the vote in the state of Florida. Democrats, Republicans, independents, everyone values our way of life. Uh, why? Because we're also keenly aware of how dirty it is, how risky it is. Uh, the impacts of oil drilling off our coast really came home to roost in 2010 after the BP Deepwater Horizon oil blowout severely affected the Gulf Coast marine ecosystems, ocean health. Do you all remember that disaster? Watching it day after day, month after month, after oil spewed into the Gulf of Mexico. At that time, we were pretty fortunate on the west coast of Florida. We didn't have oil that washed up on the beaches, but we were just coming out of the Great Recession. And it was a hammer down on small business owners at that time. People weren't coming to the Sunshine State. It caused enormous environmental impacts. And I remember so well holding in my arms and looking into the eyes of these small mom and pop owners of motels and hotels and beach businesses that they were just devastated. We cannot put our economy and our environment at risk again. It was a wake up call. And the eastern Gulf of Mexico also is an important military testing range. The Department of Defense have set, has said they oppose oil drilling off of the coast of Florida along uh, the west coast in, because they do so many military training exercises. There are so many reasons that we need to act to protect our way of life, our environment, our economy. It's what we sing about when we sing about protecting the Gulf Stream waters. This land is your land. This land, land is my land. They're not to be pillaged by the greed of the big oil companies. We're, we're poised to make important progress on the health of our oceans and our economy. We're about to unleash the clean energy economy, uh, create jobs, lower costs for families, build safer and healthier, more resilient communities. We do not need to put our economy and our way of life at risk. So for all those reasons, I hope that uh, all of the colleagues can join together to, uh, to support the Castor Amendment and permanently ban oil drilling off of the beautiful coastline of the state of Florida. Thank you, and I yield back. The gentlelady yields back.